What do we do? This is Clive Pokemon and welcome back to another video. So today's video, I really want to follow up on the EV Hero allocation video. And you know, I've read all your comments and you know, once again, I want to apologize that, you know, I've caused a lot of disappointment and a lot of, you know, inconvenience for a lot of people. Um, but I also want to thank all of you for the support and understanding that, you know, these things are pretty much out of my expectation and out of my control. Um, and I want to address the other comments regarding the funds. So the funds are there, I have the money, it's just a problem with moving back the money into PayPal. So what usually happens is that, you know, I collect some, you know, pre-order money and I would move some of those money out to prepare for the payment to the um, distributors. And usually I have to convert that money with the really crap currency exchange rate from PayPal from USD to Hong Kong dollars before I can actually move them out to a bank again. Now that was the easy part. The hard part is actually moving the money back in because you know PayPal needs to wait two to five business days before they can actually move the money back in. Um, and also I have to talk to the bank so that they know I'm moving a large amount of money back in to PayPal. It's logistically gonna take a bunch of processing time. And that's the reason why I couldn't offer everyone like a direct refund right away because I need to clear the funds in to my PayPal account before I can actually pay a refund you guys back. So but rest assured all the monies are there you know I didn't take the money to gamble on Bitcoin or something like that so don't worry the money is there it's just that logistically it's just going to take a bit more time before I can move the money back into the PayPal account. So don't worry the money is safe and you know you'll get your refund. Um, yeah so that's that. What else? Um, yes, and if so, for those of you who are uh, thinking whether I would run off of the money, no, I've refunded around. I've refunded a lot of money already. If I was to run away, I would run away already. I would not have refunded, right? So that's a different story. Moving on. Um, EV Hero said, so yesterday's video, I was um, actually talking to PKMN promo after the video um, because I really want to find out how the allocation numbers are. Is it just because of that one distributor that I ordered from or is this a much more of a widespread problem um, even in Japan or ever, uh, in other stores in Hong Kong? So I've talked to a bunch of stores owner, uh, I've talked to a bunch of people that have pre-ordered you know, cases like 10, 20 cases, you know, a lot of them are just telling me that they've only gotten two box or three box. Um, and I think that that's the general trend. Many people in, in Hong Kong and many card stores in Hong Kong are only given, you know, a few box or even one case to distribute uh, to their customers. So that's why, you know, it's very difficult to have access to these. And I was also suspecting in my previous video that a lot of the cards are actually within Japan. They're not, you know, moving the cards out but you know it, it might turn out to be that even within Japan the booster box are very very difficult to come across. Um, I was speaking with PK, PKMN promos and he told me that you know there are card stores in Japan doing lotteries um, and they were only allocated of like 23 boxes or something like that. Uh, other card stores are actually doing um, like a, they say that you know you know on 28th they're going to open the door and they're going to limit people to buy 10 packs only. So you know that is exactly what's happening um, and I think that even within Japan the amount or the demand for the Pokemon cards or the allocations that they were given was also very very low. So let alone that you know the amount that can be moved out of Japan is also going to be you know lower than expected or lower than before. And that might have to do with how the Pokemon Center Japan might say that they want a larger proportion of the printed cards because they have their own things to sell on the website as well. Uh, with that said, there has also been an update with the lottery system in the Pokemon Center Japan website. It was originally announced that it was going to be released on 26th of May, but it's been pushed back a day to the 27th of May. So, you know, we're going to find out, you know, whether, you know, people who've ordered the um, mid-June to mid-July print run is going to get anything, uh, especially that, you know, that special premium box, which includes the um, Espeon VMAX. So that's uh, what's happening with these sets. Um, we got some water. And how are these things going to impact um, 
the single car market. Well, the single car market traditionally from the alternative art, which has been leaked out on Pokey Beach already. You know, we've seen some beautiful V and alternative art for V Max. So it seems that both V and V Max are getting alternative art. And because of that, the collectability of this set is going to go way up and it's going to go crazy. And, you know, given that, that's what's going to happen single car price will be super super high and i think that you know if you go on makari or yahoo japan a lot of the auction website has already been posting a lot of these pre-orders for these single cards and you know some of them are going for like you know something crazy like you know eighty thousand yen or forty thousand yen forty thousand no four hundred thousand yen something 400,000? 40,000? 40,000, sorry. 40,000 yen and 80,000 yen. Something crazy, something ridiculous. Um, but from experience, what we have seen is that the Jet Black and Silver Lance, the Hyper Rare Alternative Art, as well as the um, Matchless Fighter Alternative Art, you know, initially at release, it was around that 20k mark, and now it's actually gone down a little bit lower. Uh, would that happen to EV set? I think it will, but will it drop down that significantly? I, I, I would say no, it wouldn't. Uh, simply because that the demand of the set is just crazily high. Now the question is, should you go and buy cards right now? Should you go and buy the single cards right now? Um, if you have extra cash and if you don't mind, if this is like the collection, you know, if this is the collection you want, you want one to collect, you can, but I would, I, I personally would hold off. I personally would hold off from buying the single cards right now because I feel like that the next two weeks or something like that, the eBay price is going to go crazy. Um, and that I will look for alternative versions, like Chinese versions, which can also be graded in PSA to, to purchase. Because I feel like that that's a much cheaper option to have access to the same art cards as the Japanese sets. And it is likely that this Japanese set will go, the price of these Japanese uh, alternative art will be higher than the English set once it's released. So we're going to have to wait and see um, how that goes. Do we know anything about the English release? We really don't. There are other YouTube channels that suspect that Evolving Skies has to do with Evolution as well as the uh, Rayquaza set. But, um, you know, we just have to wait and see. I, I, I just simply don't know. Um, but I can tell you that Chilling Rain will definitely be quite sought after, given that a lot of people will have that extra cash to buy stuff. And I think that they're going to target the newer set like Chilling Rain, which is relatively more accessible than um, EV Hero right now. Um, so that's, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I see. So, yeah. Hopefully you guys, um, yeah, hopefully that's pretty much what I want to say. Um, I will have that three box tomorrow and most likely we're going to do a live video opening this and then we can chat, you know, face to face live. Um, and you can ask me some questions, you know, regarding the set or what I find or even like refunding question. I would still want to answer it because um, I know that there has been a lot of email. Coco has been busy replying a lot of them. I've been replying some of them so um you know let me know if you guys have any more other questions i will try to address them all in some sort of video form anyway peace out this is collect pokemon bye bye